Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome to the Heal Healer Tarot. My name is Angel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel, where we learn, grow, and expand together. Working to raise the collective consciousness, one unique soul at a time. This channel is dedicated to spiritual enlightenment, soul evolution, and aligning to meaning and purpose in life. If that is something that you are interested in, then you are in the perfect place at the perfect time for the perfect reason. This is a timeless energy read for the collective soul sign of cancer. I do set the intention that this reading may resonate with you wherever you have cancer placements in your chart. If you don't know your chart and your chart placements, you can get a free copy of your birth chart over at my website. The information for that is listed in the description box below. And for a limited time, if you subscribe and become a part of the Soul Joiner family, you can get a free astrology report as well. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as a part of the tribe. Let's talk about this energy. Although this is a timeless energy read, we do draw upon the energies of the cosmos to help guide us like a roadmap towards your highest good and your greatest soul's emanation. So with that being said, Cancer, this energy is all about the new moon in Aries. So it's all about planting seeds for your growth and expansion. Brand new opportunities are awaiting you. It's an opportunity for you to really decide where you want to see yourself evolve in the next year or so. So you planting those seeds in the now with this very fertile energy for miracles and expansion and just really big advances in life will really help you to align to your highest vibrational good. So we have the sun at 11 degrees of Aries and the moon at 11 degrees of Aries. Both are conjuncting Chiron at 12 degrees of Aries. This is giving you and energy to transmute, change, and heal, break free from any past traumas, any generational curses, any of those things that you feel has been really holding you back and not allowing you to be the greatest version of yourself. It is also an energy that is bringing in alignment, the twin twin flame energy with the 11 of the moon and the 11 of the sun also taking place on April the 1st, 2022, which is an energy vibration that breaks down to 11 as well. And that energy is really drawing in twin flame unions at this time through right around about the third week of April. So if you've been doing the work on yourself and your twin flame has been doing the work on their self, it is a very good possibility that you two can actually come back into union during this time. If not, that just means that there's a little bit more work left for each of you to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tune in and tap on our energies together. I want you to take a deep breath in and hold for however long that energy is comfortable for you and then release that breath. I also want you to release any expectations and any tension that you're feeling anywhere in your body. Continue to breathe in and out and bring to your mind's eye what it is that you came to this reading for more clarity, more insight, and more understanding about. I also want you to be open to whatever messages come through as they are for your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration. So let's go ahead and tune in and tap on our energies together. spirit what messages do we have for the soul sign of cancer what does cancer need to know for their highest vibrational good messages for the soul sign of cancer spiritual purification enlightenment elevation evolution and healing messages for the soul sign of cancer Hmm. 
soul sign of cancer and so it is let's see what do we have at the bottom of the deck yeah i saw that tower energy peaking so this is a quick sudden change or something very unexpected we have to start to read the energy of transformation and change Ooh. so yeah maybe it's a quick sudden unexpected transformation and change that you're going through at this time or you're being asked to go through a metamorphosis or a change something is definitely changing in your world there's just like this whole new epiphany a whole new way of seeing and viewing things that's bringing you into this place of really going back and forth within yourself and trying to figure out exactly what side of your thoughts are you on are you on the thoughts of you know continuing to do things the way you've always done it or are you on the side of really wanting transformation and change in your life this is an energy that says don't hold yourself back from growth right all things come to an end in the perfect way we are all meant to transform and change so if something in your life is falling away allow it to fall away so that brand new things can come in so that you can grow and evolve so what is no longer in alignment with you anymore the energy of the page of cups so I'm almost feeling like this is saying that, you know, something that you really wanted that you were wishing and hoping for is just not in alignment with you anymore. It's no longer what you want. It's no longer even in the vibrational energy of you. It's like you've kind of outgrown this page of cups energy. Maybe it was just a little bit too immature. Maybe whatever it was wasn't giving you the full fulfillment of what it was that you desired. And there's some kind of realization that's taking place that this just no longer brings you what it is that you want. You want something a little bit more mature, maybe something a little bit more dependable, reliable and long term. What was never in alignment with you? Wow, you have another page energy. You have the energy of the page of swords. So e this is either a way of thinking or some form of action was never in alignment with you. I'm really feeling this is like a way of doing things, like a lifestyle has not been in alignment with you. You know, the way you think, the way you handle situations, the way, you know, you address conflict or difficulties in your life. It's never really been aligned with you. And I'm really feeling like it's never been in alignment with you because the way you've been handling things hasn't brought you the wish fulfillment or the happiness that you desire. It's only brought you more of the same, which is more conflict, more obstacles, and more difficulties to overcome what is coming in yeah you're kind of seeing things kind of seeing your way forward now you want a lot of change in your life and there's a potential and opportunity for change there's also a potential and opportunity for growth which means this is financial growth material growth as well as personal development and growth but it has to do with you really tapping into the inside of yourself and identifying exactly what it is that you love and enjoy doing once you find purpose this is my purpose card or you find in your spiritual work or your spiritual gifts. But it's like once you find purpose and what really makes you feel good, then you'll be able to change and transition your current circumstances into things that are more fulfilling. But it requires you to do some work, right? The Eight of Pentacles is putting the work in. So this could be going back to school, learning a new trade, doing something that you really enjoy doing and learning something new, learning new about yourself, learning new about your world and your environment. And that's why you're coming to this energy of realizing that something that you thought you wanted is no longer in alignment with who you are or where you're moving into. Yeah, there goes that energy of you coming into your own cancer, right? The chariot energy is coming out. You're taking a complete about face and moving in a completely different direction because where, where it is that you've been in the past hasn't been fulfilling you. But the beautiful thing that's coming through here is you're learning lessons about what you need emotionally in your life to feel happy and fulfilled. And you're also getting a lot of knowledge and, and, and insight into how to behave and how to um, change your circumstances and what actions you 
you need to take in order to grow. This is the initiation of knowledge of self. This is the initiation of emotional maturity. So you're on that road of gaining a lot more emotional maturity and knowledge of self. That's helping to drive you forward. And it's got a lot to do with whatever this is that you're working on, what it is that you're doing for work or whatever it is that you're going to school, this new information that you're learning. I'm also getting you're just learning how to be more independent and how to just depend on yourself more um Learning how to, to, to depend on yourself and to be there for yourself is the energy that I'm getting. The chariot energy is all about developing and maturing ego, right? It's like taking responsibility for your life as well and no longer depending on other people to get you what you want or to get you to where you need to be. You're taking your life into your own control and you're actually making the decisions to move towards the things that you want to do, the things that inspire you. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the energy of the Hierophant energy. So you've done some really deep soul searching. You've really tapped into your inner self. There is this deep transformation and change that's taking place here. And it's being driven by something inside of you. There's just this awakening of your intuition. There's an awakening of your soul that's coming through with this energy that wants to be seen. It wants to evolve. It no longer wants to be held back in a position of where it was. And that's what you're awakening and realizing with this transformation and change. I love it. You're moving into your personal power and you're also moving into the energy of prosperity. So you're, you're taking control of your life, right? You're doing the things that you want. You're enjoying what you do for work. You're learning some new skills. You're also learning a lot about yourself, about yourself um, mentally and emotionally, about your needs and about your desires how you function, how you think, how you communicate. And it's really causing this big transformation within you. I love it. Big changes on the horizon for you, Cancer. Huge changes with this new moon and Aries energy. It's also a, a card of forward movement. So if you've been feeling stagnant, and the recently, yeah, you're taking back control of your life. You're making things happen on your own accord. You're no longer really waiting around or depending or expecting other people to do things for you. You're doing it yourself. You're taking full responsibility for your own manifestations. So what's this page of cups energy? Something that you had a lot of love for, right? This is the father of cups energy. This is the energy that talks about Pisces energy. Could be Scorpio energy as well. It could even be a father figure energy that's coming through here. Or it just talks about through this process, you've gone from a page to a king of cups. You've really emotionally matured. After some time, right, after some time of doing some deep soul searching and seeing things differently, you've become highly enlightened through this process. And that's where this death and transformation is coming in. You're releasing the ego, right? That's the energy that says once you release the ego or the need to be right or the need to win, that's when you can move forward. That's when all of this joy and emotional comfort comes in. Yeah, night of fire, following your own desires, following your own passions, following at the beat of your own drum, wanting to be free, wanting to be carefree. There's this energy of just, you know, soaring your oats, doing what it is that you want, no longer feeling held back or that you have to comply or, you know, um, conform to what other people expect of you. And that's the energy that's coming in. You weren't this energy of this page, right? This was the energy that was kind of holding you back. You wanted more. You've grown. Something that you were once thinking that was your destiny of desire is not it. You've realized that what you've been looking for has been within you the whole time. It's all about loving yourself, nurturing yourself, supporting yourself, and really truly putting yourself first. Yeah, you're learning some very valuable experiences through whatever this experience, life situation was that you went through. It was meant to get, bring you into this energy of personal power. The Hierophant is also an energy of personal power. You're looking towards your, you know, getting, trying to get more of um, 
a spiritual explanation for why things have happened. So it's brought you more into your spiritual body, into your spiritual self. That's that scorpionic energy. It's required you to look deep down in the depths of your soul of what you really truly believe about yourself or, uh, and others. That scorpionic energy could really, you know, that's a, it's really talking about exactly who you are, the depths and parts of you that you don't want anybody else to know. The depths and part of you that you don't want anybody else to see. The things that you often keep hidden, but you're almost realizing that some of those things that you've been holding on to is what has kind of kept you in this stuck energy and never feeling fulfilled. Now you have victory and success. I'm almost getting the energy when you know better, you do better, right? With that page of swords energy. Now that you know better, you do better. Now that you've taken action, you're actually getting some success. You're actually seeing that movement. There's happiness here too with that Leo energy, Leo and Jupiter. There's lots of happiness and expansion that's going on around you. Now that you've taking back control over your life and made the decisions to do things in a different way. Breaking away from tradition or the norm or the way in which you used to think do things is now helping you to move forward. Yeah, no, but I'm no longer in a power struggle with yourself. <laughs> there goes that power struggle again, fighting within your own self about which direction to go in. When you, you know, when you allow your heart to guide you, you know that there is no right or wrong. It just all is, right? Whatever comes of it is what is meant to come of it. Rather, it teaches you a valuable lesson that you are meant to learn about your own strength and resilience, or rather it puts you on a path to something completely different. Either way, it's gonna move you and elevate you into a new direction and a new position. So don't be afraid of it is what I'm feeling. Don't be afraid of this change. Yeah, it's freeing you. It's re allowing you to end out some really old cycles so that new cycles can begin. So that you can really um, get to a certain level in your life where you feel as if you've accomplished something, as if you've actually gained something. I love this. And it's something that you're doing with your own time, your own work. It's something that you're doing. You're the one who took the initiative to put this all together. You're putting all of this time and attention into building yourself, building your brand, building whatever it is that you're creating, building this career. It's something that you've been wanting to do for a long time and now you're actually doing it. And it is going to upgrade you, right? It's going to elevate you. It's going to elevate you financially, but it's also going to elevate you in spirit. You'll feel a lot better about yourself. You'll have a lot more confidence and you'll just have a lot more sense of um, personal accomplishment and purpose. Yeah, because things have been difficult, right? There, you, you're coming out of a place of loss. You're coming out of a place of feeling rejected, abandoned, or not, you know, um, a part of of the larger group or the larger uh, whole. I'm almost feeling like hermit energy here. Like you've been isolating yourself and holding yourself back for some time and now you're just ready to break free. You're ready to leave all of this behind. You can no longer sit in this energy of sadness, of sorrow, of despair. And you want that feeling of despair to release and to let go. And that's the energy of the um, queen of uh, queen of wands it could be someone that you you were you know you were um involved with this is the energy of um aries energy but that it really you know inter to me queens are internal energy it just talks about you putting the time and energy into yourself especially with the aries energy with this aries season it's like now you're putting the time and energy into yourself you're becoming more confident through this process. You're no longer feeling abandoned or rejected. This pro this whole experience is this whole experience has made you stronger and more resilient than you were before. There's still a lot of disappointment and sadness around this though. A lot of sadness and disappointment around this. 
Maybe that you have to leave this behind and move forward. It still causes you sadness because this is something that you wanted at some point in time. This is something that you had a lot of deep love and feelings for, but yet at the same time, it made you feel as if though you weren't good enough is the energy that I'm getting or that you didn't measure up in some way, shape or form. And that really required you to go within and find your own value and worth, not look for your value and your worth to be demonstrated to you from something outside of yourself. That value and that worth comes from within. Yeah, there goes the energy of the Nine of Wands. It's been very difficult for you to get over this heartbreak and this sorrow, but you're getting over it. You are moving forward. It's been a difficult journey for you, but you're moving past it. Continue to persevere. Continue to move forward. Don't let anything or anyone hold you back. Yeah, maybe the adjustment and change. This is Libra energy. Things will be balanced out. You know, there will be transformation and change here. You will be in the energy of victory. You have victory on top of victory. Things will balance out. You will get back rounded. You will get back into this energy of flow and ease where things aren't so difficult, so hectic. But you got to allow this death and transformation process to take place because don't fight it. It's moving you into something better. That's the beautiful thing. It's taking the despair, the torment, the worry, the stress, the anguish, the conflict, internal and external. It's taking all of that away and it's really liberating you. So go ahead and allow yourself to be liberated. Don't hold yourself back. Just continue to stay focused on what it is that you're building. This tower energy, remember the tower always comes in to break yourself free from the things that you can't do for yourself. So if you've been having a hard time leaving a place, a situation or something like that, the tower comes in to break you free so that you can get back on your rightful path. And so we don't, you know, even though it's a difficult lesson to learn, it doesn't always come in the most comfortable way. It makes us go through a very difficult cycle, but the blessings that we receive on the other side are so worth it. There won't be any more confusion about what direction you'll be moving into as long as you have good intentions, right? Whenever I see the magician, it always and there goes that energy of healing and a truce. This is the energy of healing, you know, pulling your energy back, seeing something from a different perspective, having a deeper, more, um, a more deeper, fuller understanding of why all this is played out, why everything happened the way it did. And it has to do with your intentions. This card is just reminding you that whenever you're making choices in your future, be mindful of your intention behind the choices that you make. If you're doing things for either negative, selfish, or, you know, just for greed or gluttony or, you know, manipulating tactics or whatever, you can always bet that it's going to come with a bad result, right? Because what you put out in the world is going to come back to you. So when you're making decisions, you always want to make decisions from a place of good intention. So that way you're just setting the intention for something beautiful to come into your life, but not trying to control the way in which you receive it. You just got to be open to the blessings as they come and not try to control the situation. That's how this energy is coming through cancer. But a lot of beautiful, blessed energy is coming in for you. And you're definitely moving away from a difficult time into a more stable place. More balance and more stability and more autonomy and independence too. I'm getting the energy of breaking yourself free from codependency and really choosing the things that are good for you. No longer making bad decisions in your life that just kind of continue to keep you stuck in an energy of feeling unfulfilled. No more unfulfillment. All right, beautiful soul. So for the energy from one through three what's coming through for the soul sign of cancer what does cancer need to know 
number ones we have the energy all that glitters i was feeling that with that seven of cups energy sometimes you know we choose things that just isn't the best for us but it's moving you into a brand new path right because now you know better you do better you know what you deserve now is how i'm getting this energy and now that you know what you deserve you will get what you deserve you will receive what you deserve to be fair right that's that energy of your intentions making sure you're always doing things with good intention what you put out in the world will definitely come back to you and then there's the energy of exchanging gifts yeah we're all meant to help uplift each other support each other pink is an energy of healing and support and comfort loving supportive relationships around you and then there's the energy at the bottom of the deck that says chop wood that's the energy of where do i belong really trying to find your home your safe space all right let's see cancer for number ones the energy of 16 all that glitters it's only human to want to adorn oneself in trinkets and paint a pretty picture of oneself it's natural to want to acquire the trappings of status or to deny them a statement of rebellion but if it sparkles it is if it but if it sparkles is it better whether it's a fast car, a big house, a title or position, the stamp of authority or the sparkling of diamonds, these icons let you know something about a person, place or thing, or do they? The truth is that people seek to acquire things because of what they will do for them and how they symbolically will, will elevate them and make them more attractive. This card signals that it's time to see beyond the adornments and probe underneath the surface. Learn to recognize the masks people wear and the motives underlying them. Imagine that all that glitters is gone. Would you still desire the object or the person? Mmm, that's deep, Cancer. All right, number twos, 38. Number twos. To be fair, life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing. Yet over time, they strike a balance. You move from being from states, from stasis, to doing, from discovering, to loving, to letting go, to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all of these states. You will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. For every cause, there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. That has been your new moon in Aries reading, Cancer. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. If you haven't done so, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that like button. Share these videos with those that you think will benefit from the messages. And subscribe. Become a part of the Soul Joiner family. I would love to have you as a part of the family. As always, beautiful souls, until our soul paths cross again, Soul Joiners, I am wishing you love, peace, happiness, blessings, and abundance be on to you. Have a blessed and abundant day. Namaste.